Hello everyone and welcome to my Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. My name is TJ Style and in this video I'm going to show you how can you get started with editing inside Premiere Pro. So till now I've been showing you how can you work with the very essentials of the software like importing clips, creating sequences etc. But in this video we are genuinely and actually gonna get started with the uh, with editing inside Premiere Pro. I'm just gonna give, I'm actually gonna do a double click for importing my clips. I'm just gonna select all of them and once all of them are selected click open and this is gonna go uh, pop up inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, so yeah the first things first we need to create a sequence right. I'm just gonna take my Denmark traffic video. If you all know this is my favorite clip. So I'm just gonna take this I'm gonna drop it onto the new sequence button that creates a sequence for me and it also imports the video um, for me. But as you can see we actually have some problems with the video. Uh, so the very first way, actually, the, the uh, I think the very basic way that would come in a beginner's head is to uh, edit the video out, right? Just kind of trim this video out. So um, what you can do is we can select the video, go at the very start of the clip, and you can see that the mouse pointer changes to this red icon, and you can start the trim. But this is not an efficient way because this is time consuming, okay? It leaves a gap in your timeline. And, and and it of course has some more problems because it is not that efficient. And right now you may be wondering that, you know, what is a big deal with having a little gap in the timeline? You can of course just select all your clips and, you know, move them like this and boom, the, the gap is gone, the problem is solved and everything is good. But sometimes, you know, most of the time what happens is when you're working on very complex projects right now, this is just an empty timeline with one clip. Most of the times when you have like loads and loads of clip, you know, those gaps, uh, trust me gonna be a very big problem for you. So this is not the best way. Okay for editing I've got an even better way that I want to show you. I'm gonna delete this clip I'm gonna go back to this Denmark traffic video I'm gonna do a double click and as soon as you do a double click uh, on any clip or an or or on any audio or a JPEG file You will see that it gets imported into the source monitor. Now you can see this source monitor Source monitor, I think, is the best feature of Adobe Prime Pro. What it does is it allows you to select particular parts of the video. So, for example, say if you, if I was to play this video, you can see at the very start we have some camera problems. The camera was not set up, and then we have some focus problems. You can see that this car is in focus, but the actual Mercedes, the main object uh, of the video, is not in focus. But somewhere around six seconds, okay. It gets the, the focus comes in its place. Okay, the camera is all good and we really have a good shot. And so therefore I will just go at the very start of six seconds and I'm going to hit the I key on my keyboard. I for my country India. Hit I and you would see that it marks an in point. You hit the space bar and video plays. And right where the car goes out of the frame. I'm going to mark an O uh, as in I'm going to hit a uh, the O key on my keyboard for marking an out point. Now, when you are marking in points and out points, one advice that I would like to give you is always mark a little more than what you actually need. So for example, say that uh, my focus problems go away at six seconds, right? But marking an in point at six seconds is not the best thing to do because sometimes when you are adding transitions, um, you know, when you're making some cuts or maybe anything, you will get into some problems if you are very specific about marking ins and out points in your source monitor. So once again, just mark, like just go a little, um, you know, a little back, say around 15 frames or 20 frames and then mark an in point over there. It's very easy. Okay. If you want to change the in point and the out point locations, just hit the I key once again and your in point gets changed. Now, uh, now you have marked the in point and the out point of the video, right? Now it's time to bring the video in into the timeline. Now there are more than one methods of bringing the video from the source monitor to the timeline. Now we're gonna be discussing some of the very, uh, like like not a very advanced, but uh, some of the more um, intermediate to advanced concepts like the insert and the override edit in the later tutorials. I'm just gonna show you a very basic method of doing so. And that is to just simply click on the drag video only. Okay, click on it and drag it onto uh, your timeline and you can see that only the in point or, or actually the only marked section of the video gets imported. You can see we don't have that focus problem. We don't have those camera pr position problems and that looks nice. Uh, the, the same thing can be done for audio right now. I don't have an audio track. Actually, let me just pause the video. 
okay so i've bought an audio track for all my youtubers or actually viewers my learners my students anyways um, yeah so the same thing can be done with an audio track just the way that we imported and uh, just the way that we imported a video simply do a double click and your audio gets imported and this is really really good when you are trying to sync in um, you know video and audio together so you can see the very beat of the video okay and you can see that where is the drumstick where is it sound coming up where is what and this really really is good once again mark the in point move ahead in time out point this time you won't see the video track because of course there is no video right it only is the audio so take a drag the audio only bring it out now if you play it you can see that very very nice very very good thank you for watching this video guys guys um um what, what does that say um please subscribe to my channel tutorials for graphics in this video i know that this is not the in, the the most interesting video on adobe premiere pro but this is the basics of editing inside premiere pro in the next video um, i'll hopefully show you how to work with uh, some advanced concepts like markers and sub clips and you know we're using these uh, insert and overwrite edits but till then you know work with the basics okay master the basics and only then you can master the program so thank you for watching i will see you all next time take care friends and please subscribe